Cat fact, the costume from the 1940s movie serials. I legitimately considered not including this costume because while this movie is called Captain America, it has basically nothing in common with the character. But he's got the A on his forehead and a star on his chest, so I guess we'll cover it. Much like the costumes from the Red Brown series, I think this one just tries too hard to be accurate to the comics, which doesn't translate well on screen. Although another problem this one runs to is the fact that it's in black and white. It's much harder to tell the difference between some of these colors. Like, are, what color are those boots? Are they red or are they just black? They kind of just look like nice leather shoes. And in fact, the colors don't match. This is the costume they filmed in, and you'll notice the stripes aren't red. That's not just due to fading from age, they're just gray. From what I understand, the red just didn't show up very well on the camera, so they would use different colors, and in this case, gray. Here are two things I wish they had done differently, although who knows how well it would have actually worked. But I wish they had included the white parts of the arm costume. I think this white is a nice way to break up the, you know, mass of blue that is the majority of the costume. And I think this would have particularly helped in this instance, where we can't even see a difference between the presumably red of the gloves. Like, I don't know what color they're actually supposed to be since it wasn't part of that other image of the costume I found. But unfortunately, the gloves and the shirt and even the pants and the boots just all blend together. Second, I wish they had included the shield. Like, it doesn't make sense to me to not have it. They probably didn't have it since the script wasn't even originally made for Captain America. I'll have to talk about that another day. But still, like... Why does he not have a shield? Even if it's not part of the original script, it doesn't seem hard to just let him have the shield. I do also wish they had used a brighter blue for the costume. I think in color, this looks great and is what I think should be the norm for Captain America comics in live action. But where it's black and white, again, it just seems to get darker and harder to tell apart from just black. Final thing that's interesting to notice is that the stripes don't go all the way around his torso like they do in modern day. But this actually matches with the comic. Going back to this issue from the 1940s, you can see that the stripes stop about halfway around his back. I'm not sure when that changed. Now I'll have to look that up. Despite the fact that this seems like a lot of complaining on my part, this isn't a bad costume. I think it works for the time period and it was probably the best they could do. And I wish they made a couple changes, like I said, with some of the coloring. But overall, it's just a timing thing.